Hi guys, welcome to the site. Uh, this is Courtney. Um, now this uh, video is going to be one uh, in the free video section and it seemed like an appropriate time to do this one uh, since we're now moving on to um, putting in our, our, our video player and then we're going to be putting in a video and I um, decided to do this now because I think it'll be it's just perfect timing. Um, as you can see um, and the site is coming along. I'm in the process of building the site as I record this video. And everything that you see here has been done in real time. It's been recorded. And um, those who are going through the course are following along as I complete each step of the process. Right now, if I go here to our video free video section, you can see there's nothing on this, this page yet. Um, very briefly, just to give you an overall view of what's going on here, uh, we're creating um, pages and then we're going to create posts. And throughout this entire process, um, everything's being optimized and set up and it's all keyword related. I like to use my popular keywords up front within my um, nav bar here for pages. And then as we get into posts, we'll be placing those along the sidebar area here and those be optimized as well so right now we're concentrating on the free video section I'm gonna take you through how I build pages and you're gonna see how everything is done and um, um, for the benefit of those who haven't seen it if you've seen the course uh, if you're doing going through the course you've actually been through this so we're gonna take some time and explain some things here for you so let's go over here into our dashboard this is the behind the scenes look of a WordPress website and I'm going to be explaining things as if you may know absolutely nothing about WordPress and you're an absolute beginner. So bear with me for those of you who know a little bit more. And this is where everything happens behind the scene within the dashboard here. Um, uh, we won't go into each and everything in the dashboard, but we will go into pages since that's what we're going to be focusing on today for this video. So now here we are, and these are all the pages that we have, and you can see that some of them have information here and then others do not and that's because these are the ones that we're working on that have already been optimized and set up um, the one right here the free WordPress tutorial uh, for beginners has not and we're going to go in here right now and we're going to create a page now every page let's start from the very top here I guess if we go in here for our, under our screen options and drop this down you'll see that we have various boxes that are checked and these are all going to give us fields that we can actually do something with and the ones that are not checked are ones that we don't really want to do anything with and that's just what's under screen options of course over here under this area you have the published status if we hit on edit you can see that we have stuff that can be pending or it can be a draft that is uh, a draft is basically something that you're working on it's not complete and then under here under visibility you can see we have something that's public that everyone can see and then we have password protected you need a password and then private and these will be actually we'll be using these within the members area but that's basically what that means and then we have our page whether it is a parent page meaning it's a standalone page or whether it's a sub page to other pages if we were to click here it would be listed underneath those pages the template is the layout and format this is a one column with no sidebar uh, format so basically we want everything just in the center of it itself and then of course you can put the order of the pages here I don't use that and tags and tags will go in here and these are basically keywords that are searchable terms that are related to um, information that you want to direct people to up here we have what's called our title this is what will be picked up in uh, the search engines as well you always want to use a good keyword in here and we came up with our keywords during our keyword research which is covered in the course here kind of like a toolbar this gives us many options that we can use when we build our page and this is a plugin some of this is from a plugin not all of it some of it's from a plugin that we go through and I'll show you how some of this is used in a minute right here is what's called our heading this is an h1 heading headings come in many shapes forms and sizes 
all the way up to six um, paragraphs are just basically the text that we're going to put in here and then down here we have comments allow or not to allow and then track backs comments of course people can leave a comment if you check that and track backs which we don't we don't uh, check it's basically if someone's linking into your site or doing something with the the post and you'll get a, a an email on that and then over here we have our all-in-one SEO pack this is part of our SEO and this is the one that I use and there are others but this is the one I like best so now we have to put in some content here to build our page and of course everything's based around content you want to provide the best content possible for your for your people for your readers because this of course is what helps get us uh, found uh, because it's all about the readers experience so it's important that you bear in mind and keep that in mind when doing your pages and posts to solve a problem answer a question provide uh, rich and engaging is content as much as possible because that's that's really where the the, the buck stops now uh, let's get some content in here so let's go to my project folder create a project folder for whatever you're doing within that um, you put folders within that and these are all pertaining to something that we're working on or have worked on and it keeps you organized so it's definitely something you want to do we're dealing with pages so let's go in here to our pages and I've already created a page for our free video section so let's open that up and what we have here is information right and this is the information we're going to put in here and um, this right here is going to be our first video that we're going to put in so I already put that in under our SEO I have my title that we're going to put in there I have the, the description of what I'm going to put in there and then I have the keywords and tags and I also have a name for the image once we put an image in there this is everything that's required and you should do it up front I do it up front in notepad to keep everything nice and clean so when I paste it in it's ready to go I just do you know, a little formatting and editing once it's in there but I it's the best way that I find to do it as opposed to trying to write it <coughs> excuse me out as I go which you can do that but this is how I do it so let's go ahead and just copy everything actually we don't have to copy well I'm just I'll go ahead and copy everything and show you so let's copy all that let's go back to our site just put our cursor in there and we're gonna do a control V for view which pastes everything in there now as you can see here we have free WordPress tutorial for beginners which is the same as our title and then we have free WordPress training videos which is the same as our H1 heading and that was just done uh, for purposes of clarity as I'm building so I know exactly where I'm going with everything so we can actually take that out because we don't, don't really need it okay get everything nice and tight there so now what we'll do is I like to you can see how everything's not formatted properly and you can see here that we have some spell check errors that will you know we can fix that later but the first thing I like to do is take everything and go all actually um, something's missing here I think uh, enjoy the meeting. thanks for visiting I don't think I got everything did I yeah I forgot to get this piece of this right here because this is the going to be a, uh, an H1 for the actual video so let's go back and you can see that's the why I like doing things in in real time because you can see exactly how I go through the process uh, so I'm gonna take this text here I'm gonna left click and then I'm gonna drag up here so that I get all of it and then I'm gonna go up here to this alignment uh, part of a widget I mean um, a widget a plugin that we install to get everything nice and squared off okay that's why we do that's why I do it that way I just like everything nice and tight okay um, now uh, we won't worry about these typos so much now as you can see here let's let's let me explain a little bit how this works and why I have it set up this way and I have a hyphen here and here because I'm just reminding myself that I want to highlight free WordPress tutorial videos for beginners 
and I want to go ahead and bold it because free WordPress tutorials for beginners is the same as my title and so you always want to bold that okay again this is for SEO purposes so you want to do that now what I also have here that I want you to take note of is I have WordPress tutorial videos WordPress tutorial videos is the name of the site so we want to link out to our home page because again we're going to do interlinking within the structure of the website so you want to point to various pages on your website and this is one place to do it and it's pointing to the home page so we're going to go up here to insert hyperlink and this is going to make this a clickable text now if this is not showing just hit this drop down and this will give you all of the pages that are within your website and we want to link to WordPress tutorial videos which is our main page okay and it's gonna put the URL right there and it's gonna give it a title which we want do I want it to open in the new tab or not um, not necessarily if they want if you you know people want to go there that's fine it's gonna keep them within the site so that's fine we're just gonna add that and now we have a link a linking structure to within uh, another page on the site as you read through this um, you'll be aware that I'm using keywords throughout and again these keywords are keywords that you get through doing um, your um, um, your research and you can see we're talking about video training within here we're using the word WordPress within here uh, we're using here's another one WordPress tutorial videos course I have a hyphens there a hyphen so that's telling me I want to link out to the actual course from this page as well so I'm going to do the same thing there and then I'm going to add that link again structure within the site now I'm going to go back and clean these hyphens up but of course we're talking about other things we're talking about optimizing your website we're talking about the course again there's WordPress SEO okay website promotion um, I'm talking again about videos here um, talking about pages posts plugins all of these are is all of this is information that's all relevant and pertinent to the to the site okay and again WordPress training videos I'm getting that in again uh, WordPress training videos because of course WordPress training videos is there and in fact um, it's a good place to do another bold because it's directly off of that keyword okay and again all this information is information about what this this training this free training these free videos is all about and um, so I'm giving you information within here but I'm also using keywords as I do that and I'm also linking back let's bring our attention now down here to our title our S of our for our um, further optimization okay free WordPress tutorials for beginners same as the title and then learn WordPress another key word that we're putting in there it's always a good idea to chop that up because you can do that you know you you get the main one up front and then you put another one right in there now as far as our our um, our uh, description here let's go ahead and let me copy that and you'll see that within the description what you want to always do is as you can see my free WordPress tutorials for beginners you always want to get the exact same keyword as in your title at least uh, somewhere in here and then I have also learn WordPress as well someone if someone searches for that and it's in the description as well it's going to help get you found you definitely want to do that and of course we're talking about how to install optimize promote we're putting website okay and then just have a free peek here now let's go down here to our keywords and we're going to go here and grab these keywords and I have free WordPress tutorials for beginners again training free WordPress videos and WordPress course so I only have four there I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna drop those in again you don't want to keyword over stuff but you do want to put keywords that are relevant to to your description here and relevant to content in here and you also want to take these keywords and pay, paste them here into your tags 
and press add because within these we're going to use these to create a blog roll and additional so that people can click and when they click on these it's going to bring them to this area and free WordPress tutorials for beginners is going to be here WordPress training is going to bring them here this is all part of your optimization that is the anatomy and pretty much construction of a page and of course we're going to update this now we can go in and preview that and of course it's going to be there we're not going to have any images of course but as you can see we have our bolded we have our links that are linking out and then we have another bolded um, and this is this is um, this is not too overbearing actually I could probably even put one more link in there but I think I'll, I might just leave it like this I'm gonna go back obviously and clean some things up this here needs to be centered and turned into an H1 uh, heading because underneath this is going to go our first video and in fact I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that in my next tutorial um, whether or not we'll put it in this free section I'm not sure yet maybe but um, that is just an example of how we work folks and it's again I just do it straight up and you get to see me do it and and at the end of this thing you're gonna see the results of it and and um, how we get ranked as a result of doing things this way so thanks for visiting and um, I hope to see you in the members area bye bye